It won't be long before federal student loan borrowers are handing over monthly payments again, and now a new repayment program could help them manage that debt. The U.S. Department of Education has updated its income-based payment plan, helping many borrowers lower their upcoming payments. News 10's Riley Connell shows us how they're preparing and what financial experts say is the best way to face debt head on. Come October, the millions of federal student loan borrowers who had their payments paused for more than two years will start paying again. Many are still processing the return to dealing with their debt. It's a lot to juggle, it's a lot to wrap your head around. So we were excited at the thought of maybe having some of that, you know, forgiven, but it is what it is. Other borrowers like Dana Smith are already preparing to sacrifice some of their budget to make payments. But now that we have back to square one, it's kind of tough admitting you have to like spend back paycheck on this every week and it's just not fun. A refresh to the U.S. Department of Education's repayment plans could leave some people with no monthly payment. The department estimates that the saving on a valuable education plan will cut those payments down by $1,000 or more. It can feel really overwhelming when you start to think about um, long term that compounding debt and I think one of the best ways to manage that overwhelm is to just educate yourself. Financial experts at Michigan State University Federal Credit Union say knowing what repayment options are out there is the first step to paying down debt. After that, it's all about budgeting. I think what's really important is just to remember to budget for the payments and um, to start planning and begin thinking about starting that up again. The Supreme Court made its decision on debt cancellation, but some borrowers say people still deserve a helping hand. Just helping our students will only help out the future in the long run and future generations, really. In Lansing, Riley Connell, News 10. People can enroll in the U.S. Department of Education's SAVE plan now. Those changes will go into effect in July of 2024.